there, where they are, what they're doing. So. Got yeah. it. Okay. okay, I've just let the group in. Hi, everyone. I'm so happy that you're here and that you're listening. Um, something that I want to welcome all of you is this amazing opportunity to learn about the Adelphi dual degree programs. There's so many, there's more than one. And I want to sincerely thank Dr. Bob Schwartz. I know that you say to call you Bob, but I feel like it's so <laughs> informal. Okay. Um, I really want to say thank you. And this is someone who I've known for years. And I'm so excited that you agreed to do this Zoom because <laughs> the kids, they really want this. They want this opportunity. So I can't thank you enough. Um, everyone, do you want to just quickly type into the chat where you go to school right now? So let's just, I'm just going to ask if, you quickly. If anybody wants to uh, show their face, it's easier for me <laughs> to see you. And, and get a Where response you and, it, and, it, and you might want to practice doing that because more and more oh, even though now Michelle, during the here. pandemic uh all interviews for uh medical dental school and virtually everything else and the ones we've been doing have all been via zoom but we're going to continue doing that um and medical schools are talking about that and, and dental schools that it makes it so much more convenient uh, and, and it saves people money from traveling for interviews. So they'll, they'll probably have a blend and, it, and it's really helpful now to kind of get used to being, uh, although you might be all, all day, depending on the school you're at, uh, on, on Zoom. So maybe you don't want to, and maybe you didn't clean your room and you're embarrassed uh, or the dishes if you're still eating dinner. But if you can, that, that would be nice. Uh, so, so, there's so hello, doc, hello, Dr. Thank Schwartz. How are you? Okay. Name? How are you doing? See. Good. So I, Do you remember me, me from the interview? I remember what? you from um, <laughs> from your cousin more than that. That's, yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> So, so everyone, so when I, when Dr. Schwartz and I said, where do you go to school? Um, actually, I wasn't referring to the borough. Isn't that so funny? We have to be so specific. <laughs> so everyone give me the name. He wants to know what name you attend. What yeah, school. I, I okay. know some. Is there anybody on from Brooklyn? You, you get an immediate uh, entry. Not really. Don't hold me to that. That's so <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> but but next, if we ever do this again in person, then I could stop at Kanishnash on Queens. Oh, I hope so. I know <laughs> they have they have good um, hamantashen. Actually, we okay. were there. So everyone, if you could just type in the chat, what's the name of the school where you attend? And um, it would be really nice if you everyone would just type in the chat quickly what uh, the name of the school is, what grade you're in. I think it would be so nice to know the exact group and who we have here yeah, right now. It'll give me some uh, sense of how to approach this. Hi, Alona. Absolutely. Alona is a brave person as Ronnie was. Okay, that's nice. Strong. Her. Oh my goodness, look, we have a seventh grader from St. Bernard's. Uh -huh. where, we have a town. You can, um, St. Bernard's is in Manhattan, is that right? Yeah, you can answer it, Edward. Okay. And Townsend Harris, we, we uh, interviewed several students recently from Townsend Harris. Uh, I don't know how I got muted again. <laughs> you're now you're muted. <laughs> so let's see, ready? So let's see where everyone is from. So we have St. Bernard's seventh grade. Isn't that amazing? Yeah. We have a Townsend Harris High School. We have a Forest Hills High School. We have a Transfiguration High uh, School in eighth grade. Another Forest Hills, another Forest Hills. You're very popular with Forest Hills High School. <laughs> And, we uh, have a seventh grader, which really warms my heart. We have an 11th grader from the Thomas Edison Career and Technical High School. Yeah, we, so, we, we interviewed somebody, uh, I, I can't remember which program we've been interviewing for the NYU, the NYIT and the rule of the PCOM and we did some others. 
but we, we did introduce somebody from Thomas Edison. We have an Anderson Middle School. We PS three thirty four seventh grade. So you you had the kids are here as early as seventh grade into the mm -hmm. Zoom, which is super cool. Well, I, I'm I'm uh, kind of dis disagreeing with that in my head. I think it is good that they're planning and thinking about it, but uh, I I think it's important to also grow and enjoy yourself while you can, and that you know I think it's important certainly to, to study and do as well as you can, but you have to have some balance. So a lot of students kind of overdo it and then and then they kind of burn out or lose lose hope. Uh, so I think it's good to, to find some balance. And, and the graduate schools are looking for people who not only are focused on the sciences, in the case of most of our programs are science related, uh, but also that you're achieving in other areas, because that's usually an indicator of your passion just for doing things. And by having experiences that you could talk about, whether they're fully related to the career you're going to go to or not, it's really helpful. On the other hand, if you have opportunities to shadow, to volunteer, uh, particularly if it's medicine or dentistry, or PA or veterinary uh, or even law, uh, pharmacy, those are really helpful. But to try to find some balance in, in the things that you'll be doing are, are really helpful. Uh, but it's good that people are thinking ahead. Uh, but try not to get too anxious about the process. Uh, it, it, people get through it, uh, they, they do well. Uh, but it certainly takes a lot of uh, work and study. So I, I think I, what I'd like to do is, if you could also in the chat put what you're thinking at this moment about a career, and and that would help me to kind of uh, determine which programs and which things I can emphasize. But I am going to give a whole general idea of of the kind of programs we have at Adelphi. And, and why we have them. So med school, okay. veterinary, biomedical, computer. Okay. Um, okay, so like most every college, uh, students can come to Adelphi and, and go on to all of these things. Some schools like Adelphi have some special programs that make it a little bit easier to get there, but <clears throat> it's not the only way at all. And when I go through the programs, you'll see that some are limited, not by us, but by the schools we have agreements with. Uh, and and, and, and we, we probably have more of these early, called early decision pathways, linkages, uh, joint degree program, although that term doesn't really fit exactly what we do. Um, so many schools have these programs, but they might have one or two or three. We have, I, I think I've lost count, but it's like 15 or 16 uh, different programs. And, and we are working on, on more. Uh, I'm in negotiations now with NYIT and Iona College with their occupational therapy programs, which has been a, a growing field. And we, we have these relationships in part to really attract good students like yourselves who are really interested in a particular field. Uh, so it helps people get to know about Adelphi. And you know, my goal is to help people learn about us. I, I've worked at several other schools. Uh, I, I was a counselor at Kingsborough Community College for 20 years. And, and then I left to uh, grow a business. I had some ideas about making my fortune in the world. I did okay, but I really love working with students. And I felt that I would really prefer to get back to, to that. 
but I've, I've taught at places like Brooklyn College, Malloy College. I, I actually taught at Adelphi in the early 1970s uh, when I had just finished graduate school. Uh, I've taught at St. John's and at York and Northern Michigan, and I think a few other places, but I can't remember. Uh, most of the time when I was teaching it was psychology. So my background is as a counselor, psychologist, uh, and a mental health counselor. <clears throat> but, but I've always liked working with college students. And I've been at Adelphi, this is now my 14th year, and it's been the best place I've ever worked with really wonderful students who actually support each other and don't have to compete. Many schools, especially much larger ones, the students are all competing for a spot and trying to get into med school uh, like Edward is or veterinary school like Nima or going on to biomedical science uh, and computer science. And at Adelphi, the atmosphere is one of supportive. It doesn't mean you can't, you, you don't have to do well, but it does mean that you don't have to fight everybody. Uh, and, and a lot of students arrange for study groups, uh, working together. You know, during this pandemic, uh, I'm sure it's similar for you, it's, it's hard to get together. Some of you are in classes, you might be in school part-time. A lot of our classes are online, some are blended. And the same thing is going on in medical and, and dental schools. If it's not a practical course, they're gonna teach it online. And, and we'll see what happens next year. You know, hopefully this world will get, get better, but we will see. Uh, so a lot of our, our programs do attract uh, attention of, of students. And, and they see and they are growing because it is nice to have this reassurance. But I, I think the thing I want to say at the outset, these programs are very competitive. And it's certainly a good idea to apply. But if you don't get in, it doesn't mean you're not going to be a dentist, a veterinarian, uh, a, a doctor. Uh, and, and that's important to keep in the back of your mind. Most of our students are not in these programs. And, and they'd be getting into schools that might even be better than the ones we have agreements with. The agreements come about with our approaching certain schools to see if they'd like to have an agreement. But many graduate programs have very few relationships. Uh, the one we have with NYU Dental School, which is probably our, now has become our second most popular. There's a medical program that's become even more desirous. Um, we're the only one other than themselves that they have an agreement with. They had others, but they didn't work out very well. We've consistently been able to provide them with really good students. And that's what they want. They want us to make the earlier selection process. And then they, and each one has a different rule and regulation. And I'll, I'll go over pretty much each one to, to some degree. So it's, it's a, a mutual benefit for the graduate schools to look at a wide range of students from many, many backgrounds. And Adelphi is a place where we do attract students from a wide uh, swath of the greater New York area and, and beyond. We have, we have several students who come to school and they're, they're, they're from Korea. Uh, there seems to be a, a, a big uh, desire for us, at least the students I see to go to dental school. And, and NYU is a big draw because it, it's the, the name NYU attracts a lot of attention. Is it the best dental school? It's probably, it's definitely one of the better. Uh, it's also the largest. So that might be a consideration to maybe you don't wanna be in such a large dental school. Uh, it's also the most expensive. And it's also in Manhattan, 
where it's expensive to live if you don't already live on a train line that goes close to there. Uh, so there, there are things to weigh in considering any of these programs and really any of these careers. But now is the time to begin exploring, to figure out what it is you really want to do. Often I, I, when we get an application, uh, the student says, I've always wanted to be a doctor. And I have a colleague who, who always says to them, well, you mean at birth you knew you were going to be a doctor? Uh, and if that's so, or close to it, you have to indicate what's informed your decision now that you're, you've become much older. Uh, so it's, it's nice to play doctor as a kid, uh, but it's very different to really desire to become a physician and to know what you're getting into. So getting some experiences at some point, probably in, in really in high school, middle of high school, all of you probably have a family physician who you might ask if they, you could spend some time in their office. Uh, there were several hospitals in Queens that students shadow in. Uh, often dentists are, are very helpful and will let you shadow them. Uh, we have students who get, get become assistants in, in a veterinary clinic, uh, et cetera. So there's lots of opportunities. We, uh, if anybody's interested in physical therapy, somehow physical therapists seem to really enjoy having students come and shadow them and, and even start working with them. Uh, and, and it's a wonderful profession. But at Adelphi, we do have a variety of programs. And as I've been mentioning, one is with NYU Dental School. And this is fairly typical of our programs, but each one works a little differently. With the NYU program, and all, all students will fill out what's called the common application, common app. And, and Adelphi does have its own application, but it's probably best to fill out the Common App, because then you could apply to several schools with the same information. And although like many schools and many programs, we have an additional, what are usually called a secondary question. And for us, the question is pretty simple. Why do you want this profession? And why do you want this program? Now that sounds, Nod your head, those who are alive, who can show their face, right? That sounds simple, correct? Well, the range of answers I get, some just say, I've always wanted to be a doctor and this is a great program. Do you think that person is going to, uh, if, that I'm going to be looking favorably on their application? Probably not. Uh, some go into a long-winded description of their grandmother's illness, typically, and some of their own. And at some point, they mention that they've observed the doctor, and then they forget to say anything about Adelphi or the particular program. And we also want to know, you're not, we hope you're not just coming to Adelphi for the that program, it certainly helps, but you're, you're gonna be in college for three or four years, you should be looking at the school to determine, is this a place you wanna be for those three or four years? And so like most schools, we have open houses and you could look at our website and under admissions, they'll indicate when they're having open houses. Hopefully next year, they will be really open uh, although students have been taking tours during the pandemic under some pretty strict guidelines. Adelphi has been a really safe environment during, during this time period. Uh, so, you know, we, we've been fortunate. But, uh, but you, at some point to visit the schools, we have some summer science programs. So you could look at those on our website and maybe participate in that. They're both educational and also fun. Uh, 
sometimes we host, I, I know the school hosts the robot, a robotics tournament and you can get to see the campus. Uh, you could see a little bit of it behind me. Uh, it definitely wasn't taken this week. Uh, it's, it's still snow covered, but you get the idea. We even have a rose garden on, on campus. So there's a place to go and sit and smell the roses. But the NYU program is one of our oldest. It's actually started just when I, when I got the job. And that one, like others, this one is a three, three years out of Delphi. And when you're selected for the program, you're not totally guaranteed of getting into NYU Dental School because they will interview. But so far, except I think in one case in the 11 years that the programs had graduates, only one student didn't get in. Uh, so the track record is really good. It's, it's, it is above a 99% guarantee. Uh, and I hope that continues. Uh, but in order to be even looked at for the program, NYU has set, as the other schools do, they usually set an SAT or an ACT score minimum. In the case of NYU, it's currently 1360 on both the math and the reading and an ACT score, an ACT score of 29. And that's typical, although there's a range with various programs. This year, because of COVID, it's test optional and, and many, many colleges are test optional. So it's made our job a little more difficult because there are students who might not have scored as well who don't have the score and they're applying and we're trying to, we're trying to assess their success. And partly they use the SAT and ACT because in, in the case of NYU and, and some of our other programs, you're gonna to have to take an additional test once you're applying. In the case of dental school, it's called the DAT, the, 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 dent, the dental admissions test. For optometry, we have a program with SUNY, SUNY optometry. It's the OAT, the optometry test. For medical school, it's the MCAT, the medical college admission test, uh, which often people dread because it is a difficult test. And it covers things like bio, chem, organic chem, biochemistry, physics, plus, They've added psychology, sociology, and statistics. So it's a pretty massive, it's a seven and a half hour test. And, and that, that one's really difficult. Um, but certainly our students are successful, whether they're in any of these programs or not. We do have two programs where you don't need an MCAT, which is relatively unusual. There's a, a medical school in Erie, Pennsylvania. It's an osteopathic medical school and it's, it's called Lake Erie. Coincidentally, it's, on, it's in Erie and it happens to be on Lake Erie and the college name is Lake Erie College of Osteopathic Medicine. Uh, get the idea? And it, the, you don't need, if you're accepted, then you don't have to take an MCAT. They, but they base, their final acceptance on a combination of how you did on the SAT and how you do in college. And in that school, unlike for NYU, we, we do the interview and you're in the program, but then there's a second interview at the middle of your junior year where you then get interviewed by NYU. With LECOM, you get interviewed by LECOM when you're still in high school. And if, as long as they accept you, uh, we're, we're, Adelphi is gonna accept you. Um, and they actually have four locations. So if you don't like the cold and the snow, they have a, a branch in Bradenton, Florida, which is between Sarasota and Tampa St. Pete. So if you like palm trees and coconuts 
and fishing, uh, that's a really one, and going to the beach, except when you're in dental school and medical school, they, they actually have both a dental school and a medical school in Florida, uh, you're going to be studying a lot. So you might get to the beach once in a while, but not too often. And we have another program, recent one with SUNY Upstate Medical Center. And that one too, you don't, a, an MCAT isn't required. And, and they actually have a two-step process. We evaluate the applicants and then they evaluate the ones that we recommend. And, and it's, a, it's, a very, it's a very stringent medical school interview. And in that program, you, you do stay at Adelphi for four years because they and we are looking for students who are not only strong in the sciences, but have some other academic or even performing interest. So if any of you are play a musical instrument or sing or dance or paint, or uh, your, your li the likelihood that of you getting chosen over somebody else with equal kinds of scores and background would be greater because that program is looking for students who have these other interests. Uh, and, and, and it could be things like anthropology. You don't, have, you don't have to be a science major to go into that program. And with LECOM, they actually, we actually have two programs with them, actually three, a dental, and then two different medical, a three-year medical and a four-year. And, and we just started a new three-year medical program with NYIT Com. In these programs that are three-year, like NYU, like the three-year with LECOM, the, the one with NYIT Com, the one with SUNY Optometry, the one with New York Podiatry, the way we shorten the time period that you have to be in undergraduate school is that we give you credit for bio courses that you take in the first year of medical school or dental school. And you transfer those credits back to complete your undergraduate bio degree. So you have to be a bio major. And we even now have one with Albany College of Pharmacy. And that works in the same in the same way. And when you're ultimately applying to colleges through the Common App and, and you indicate Adelphi, you then, then get to check these programs to decide which one. And, and then you write, you know, you put down all the activities that you've done, whether they're in school or out career search kinds of things, whether you shadowed, volunteered, work experience. Of course, we also do look at that. So many students do work and have to work. So we know when we're looking at their application, they may not have had the time to volunteer. They're trying to help their families. Uh, so we, we take that into account, but we look at, we look at what you're doing. A lot of students, I've had a lot of students who, who say, well, I was, I was just a waitress. And, and that doesn't have anything to do with medicine. I, I usually say wrong. You're dealing with people. Often under, how many of you have returned things and had either a good waitress or a very, not very happy waitress or waiter? Don't mean to be sexist. Uh, so the wait staff, and helping people is, is something really important. And it's something you could discuss. Of course, the medical and dental schools, they're gonna teach you the technology. They're gonna look at your grades and see that you've done well. They're gonna see the test scores that are good, but they're also trying to assess what are your people skills? How do you handle difficult situations? And so that's another aspect of the application process and it's also what, we're, what we look for when we're interviewing students straight out of high school uh, who, you know, and, and there's been a wide range of, of, of students that we see, but it's, it's having all those skills that's, that's really, really important. Uh, 
So I, I'll, I'll run through, I did a little bit, but I'll run through the, the various programs. Uh, so NYU Dental School, LECOM Dental. We have a program with Columbia Engineering and the person interested in computer science might be interested in computer engineering and th that might be a possibility. We, we do have, we, we have computer science program and we have, have business. Biomedical science, some of the students going for that might be interested in biomedical engineering. And our program is with Columbia University. And we actually accept everybody at Adelphi who's interested in that. The real problem comes a few years later, if you've done very well, most likely Columbia will accept you. If you haven't, then we have to talk about other alternative things to do. So it's nice that we will accept you as a general student, but it might become a problem later on. Uh, and that program, that program is handled really by our physics department. So that's much more closely aligned. The basics of most engineering is, is really physics. We, we have two law school programs with Albany Law. And we just had a, uh, every semester we have a guest speaker from from a law school. So last night it was uh, a professor who grew up in the Bronx, Mary Lynch, who was talking about bail. Uh, there's been a lot of controversy about changes in the bail law. And she's really at the forefront of helping make the adjustments that are reasonable. And because they're in Albany, uh, we attract a lot of students because they're interested in government in laws, making laws, uh, and it's really fine law school. And they could save a year, because in that case, it's a three year at Adelphi, and then three years at law school instead of four, and then three. And it makes the path a little easier. And we also have one with Drexel uh, University Law School that's in Philadelphia. So if any of you like cheesesteak, I would say that would be the preferred place to go. Uh, but again, a really fine law school. Uh, Philly is also a really great city to, to be in. Uh, I don't know how many of you have visited there, uh, but I suggest you know, to visit if you get a chance with your families or those who are eventually gonna be of driving age or have older siblings who could drive or if you're slightly adventurous, there are, you could actually take New Jersey Transit very inexpensively and get to Philadelphia. Uh, and then there are buses and certainly Amtrak, but I, I don't like paying extra money to be on Amtrak. So I, I take Jersey Transit or I do have a car and so I do drive. Uh, but I've also taken the, the buses, they're really, like $15, you could be there. Uh, so, so there's a lot of ways to be in another environment. And, and that might be helpful ultimately for you, not choosing a college, but also choosing a place that you might wanna be. And, and it's close enough that perhaps your parents won't be so upset that you're leaving home. Uh, so, and you might not be so upset that you can't get back home for a, a good home cooked meal. Uh, so those are, you know, I, obviously I, I really love working and being at Adelphi, but I think it's really helpful for you to make, to, to be aware of these things, to make, you know, informed decisions ab about your future. We, we then, we do have a, a medical program with PCOM, which is Philadelphia College of Osteopathic Medicine. And that's the third oldest osteopathic medical school in the country. It's well over a hundred years old. And, and they place students in hospitals all over that city and in many other places. And I, I know I've been mentioning osteopathic me medicine. I don't know how many of you are familiar with 
with that area of medicine. It's very much the same as MD. They do exactly the same thing. The books that they read are the same. The second two years of medical school are rotations in different specialties where the medical student is figuring out what area might be best for them. And then they apply for residencies after medical school where they get further training and many more responsibilities. Osteopaths add a little dimension to general medicine where they use what's called osteopathic manipulation. So they're able to diagnose and treat some conditions through touch and you get training in that. Uh, and it's something you might wanna consider be, because it's very, for those going to medical school, it is hard getting into a medical school. It's slightly easier and getting less so for the osteopathic schools because people don't know them as, as well. We have three programs with NYITCOM, LECOM, and, and PCOM. But each one, like with NYU, we only have 10 students who can get into the program. And this year we had 120 applicants and we interviewed about 50. And we're only able to take in 10. Hopefully some of those students will still come to Adelphi because we've been equally successful with students who get the same grades the same DAT school score, they're getting into places like Stony Brook, like Columbia, like Penn, like Turo, a brand new school in, in uh, Westchester, uh, Rutgers in New Jersey, where if you get into that dental school or medical school, you could become a, a resident of New Jersey. Now, I don't know why anybody would want to but if it's gonna save you 30 or $40,000 a year, I, I, would, I would even accept being a Jerseyite, okay? Even though I live on Long, Long Island, but I left Brooklyn crying and screaming. And that's still where my, uh, my heart is. And also my favorite places to eat, except for Kanishnash. So, you know, it really depends on opening yourself up to possibilities. Uh, that that are there. We we also have a, a program with New York uh, Medical College for Physical Therapy, and one with NYIT for Physical Therapy. In the one with NYIT, we accept anybody who qualify at least qualifies for our exercise science program, and in order to get in recommended uh, for, I think, four or five spots that we have at NYIT's physical therapy program, you have to be an exercise science major. They created that program. It isn't that others get in there, but for this program, you need to be an exercise science major. And we have one with New York Medical College, uh, which is the same grounds uh, that Turo's dental school is on in, in Westchester. But our students have gotten into Stony Brook's PT program, uh, Mercy College, uh, Hunter College in the city, Siena, I think, I think Siena's program, Fairfield, and, and, a, and a host of others. Uh, and, and so even though, again, that these programs help, our office, the Office of Pre-Professional Advising, is there to help you get into whatever school you, you aspire to. And we'll also give you some idea of the realities that some students want to go to Harvard. And it, it is a good school for dentistry and medicine but not everybody's gonna get in there unless you have unbelievable grades. But actually the hardest, the most difficult medical school to get into in the country is NYU. And now NYU's medical school is free. But they recently opened up a branch 
on Long Island, affiliated with Winthrop Hospital. And that one is also free. And in their first class, which just started, one of our students is in that class. She did very well in the MCAT. She did very well in courses. She did shadowing. She worked in the field. Uh, and she was able to get in there. And, and I know there'll be others following with her because if as long as she does well, and I don't see why she won't, that school will say, gee, she came from Adelphi. Maybe they have another one just like her. And that clearly happens with the programs we have because our students do well. They, they really prepare well at Adelphi. There are a lot of services to help the faculty are very engaged with the student. There's no lecture hall bigger than 80 seats. And, and the faculty have clear office hours and they really welcome students to come in. And, you know, I, since I've been there a while and, and work closely with them, I've developed really nice relationships because they're really good people. Uh, and, and, when I when we do interviews for students, I always have try to have current students with me on the interview because they they can answer questions, and they're also very perceptive about other students. They've recently gone through this experience, and so it helps me make a better decision about who we should take, and. The, the real problem is we, we have so many good students. It, it really upsets me when I can't accept everybody. But those limits are set by the schools we have agreements with. Uh, one that I didn't mention yet was New York College of Podiatric Medicine. Are, have any of you been to a podiatrist? No, okay, I have. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's, it's a profession that people kind of don't think about, especially when you're a younger person who might never have gone to, to a foot doctor. And yet it's a little easier to get into that profession because there aren't as many students trying to get into it. And yet, even though their practice is limited to the foot or below the knee, they do surgery they do wound care, they can give medications. Uh, so th they do a lot of important work. One of our students who was trying for medical school, but really wasn't, it was kind of on the, the cusp of maybe getting in. I suggest that he shadow a podiatrist and he did. And he decided to go to podiatry school and he's, he's now finished but he wound up getting a residency as an ankle replacement surgeon. He will be in three years, he will get a really spectacular job working in an orthopedic section of a hospital. And he will be the major person that they go to for not just ankle replacement surgery, but all kinds of foot surgery. And he, and he always wanted to be a surgeon I suspect he's a little sadistic, but so are dentists, I think. Uh, you need a little bit of that to be drilling people. Uh, but he's gonna have a wonderful career and probably a really nice car someday while he's, while he's <laughs> really working very, very, very hard. And we also have a program with Ross Veterinary School. There are very limited number of veterinary schools. And there are two that are in the Caribbean, but they are fully US certified, unlike most of the Caribbean medical schools. And Ross is, not only do you go and have like two and a half years in the Caribbean, actually you're studying and you really don't have much, that much time for the coconuts or the palm trees or the beaches there, but you do come back to the United States and then you're at one of several US met based medical schools. But that, that program we have because it's so hard getting an agreement with any 
with any of these are hard to get. And Ross was interested in attracting our students. So that's another alternative. In that program, you have to meet some initial requirements. We don't interview, and, and many veterinary schools don't interview. Uh, they might interview your pet and see how you've taken care of the pet. So they'll ask them to either bark or meow or whatever for them, but they often don't in interview. But you do need a lot of experience, uh, often as, as a veterinary assistant or first getting a job there. Or you, there's, a, there's an, a nature preserve and zoo, small zoo in, in Queens or the Bronx Zoo or the one in Manhattan. There are some of our students who've gotten positions there and some find some animal rescue places. Uh, there's, and way out on Long Island, there are some farms that are raising sheep and goats and pigs and a few other exotic animals and large animals where you might get a job or the New York Aquarium in Coney Island, or there's an aquarium out in Riverhead. So there are possibilities for you to get that kind of experience. And typically veterinary schools are looking for you to have not just experience with, with pets, but with larger animals. Because a, vet, a veterinarian treats and treat every kind of animal. My, my own, when we had a dog, my own vet was a specialist in birds. And so, so he, would, he would be the one to call. He, he treats dogs, he treats cats, but he also had a specialty with, with birds. And, and he was actually trained in, in Italy. He couldn't get into a US school. And, and that's where he went to, be, to become a veterinarian. And, and a very successful one and a very, very happy one. So I, I don't, I, wa I wanna answer some questions that you might have. So please either in the chat or uh, mute, unmute yourselves or whatever, and I'll be happy to, to answer anything. I have a question. Um, yeah. So you, you've, uh... You know, you've said how like, uh, you know, Adelphi has all these programs and, you know, evidently pinpointed how, that, you know, Adelphi is a very exceptional school, but what, what's your favorite thing about Adelphi? Uh, the paycheck, beyond the paycheck. <laughs> no. Yeah. Well, that's important, uh, but, but I, I really think it's the students. I, uh, they've just been wonderful and and I know with, you know, been doing all these, these interviews, the students have volunteered to help out. And it's really nice to work with them on a very equal basis. They're, they're all nice, they're, they're very bright, they're very supportive, and they're very perceptive. And also, students who come to my, when I, you know, when I was in my office, which maybe will happen again, although, I don't mind being at home where I don't have to worry about a parking spot. And, and now my, and my wife, the, the bad thing is my wife watches what I eat all the time. Whereas at Adelphi, I could go out and, you know, get the pizza that I really want. Uh, mm. But, but uh, just working with the students, when I'm in the office, the, the interesting mix of backgrounds of students who have become friends is really just wonderful. People from totally different backgrounds have become very close, really close friends. And, mm -hmm. and, and I, you know, I hope so. And I'm quite sure it'll continue through their lives because college is a, an important place to make friendships uh, and to learn about other people and to be comfortable with, with other people. So I, I think for me, that's, that's the important thing. I, I do have some wonderful colleagues and and they're very supportive, but it's really the students that that give me the energy to, to do what I do. Mm. Yeah, all right, thank you. And, uh, and, and Ronnie, I think the other thing is, I, I like Adelphi because they hired me. They were very <laughs> receptive. <laughs> okay. I, I like the bunnies at Adelphi. <laughs> <laughs> 
I see uh, bunnies on the campus. <laughs> yes, there are. There's also yeah. periodically there's a hawk who comes and he he likes the the bunnies very much. So he likes it's bunnies. interesting. I get rid of that hog. That 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 no, bunny. I mean, it's all part of life. Uh, he has to live too. <laughs> yeah. Wait, so we have two future physicians. Jessica, what kind of doctor do you want to be? I want to, I be, want to a, be a pet doctor. No, ah, what's it so called? you want to be a veterinarian. A vet, say, I want to be a veterinarian. Vet, veterinarian. And what do you want to be, Michelle? I want to be a... A doctor. What kind of doctor? I want to be a... Nurse. No. <laughs> <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. I don't you, know. Want to, you want to be a pedia? Remember, we went over that word? Pedia. I, th I think there's a little there's a little brainwashing going on right now. So much for my so much for my debut. Yeah, if, if I hope your children listen a lot better than mine did. That's so. funny. Well, I uh, yeah, I'm, I'm good. I'm actually uh, I'm expecting a third, so I'll take two out of three positions. Okay. The other one can be a lawyer. I won't mind. Okay. I won't mind. Uh -huh. I think we've covered so much ground today. And I think everyone, if you can just give Dr. Schwartz a gigantic thank you. Oh, thank and you. he's really just been amazing. Thank you for, you know, volunteering to do this. I mean, I didn't offer to pay you anyway, but I, I really, <laughs> I assume you- Someday it'll be, a, 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 I like Kasha Kanishas. I, so. I can give you school supplies. I have a lot at Queller. So I want to just say, I really want to say thank you. So everyone, can you say thank you, please? Okay. And thank all of thank you. you. And, and really, I, I have my email address. Thank you. And, and Adelphi does have these open houses. So when you're ready. Thank you. Much, please <laughs> come. Thank you. And, and good Absolutely. luck. Absolutely. Good luck to Michelle, all. Michelle, come say thank you. I'm very grateful for this. I think it was a really good learning experience. And um, it's good for me to know where my four and five year old are gonna go. Okay. You never know. I like to plan in advance. Okay. okay. So uh, I hope, you know, just good. Um, I, I, you you I think you had young ones. You can say you had four and five year olds in your audience this yeah, time. I, I don't so. I don't think I'll be there when they're ready. But no, maybe. we will. But maybe. Oh, you you didn't know the vaccine makes you live till you're 120. <laughs> oh, Michelle okay. Sapes. Sapes. <laughs> right. well, I, I'll right. be getting the second shot in uh, two and a half weeks now. So 120, 120. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Say thank, thank you. you. Go say, go say yeah. thank you. Thank you. Thank right. you. Thank you. Okay. Take care. Thank you very much. We covered so thank much ground. Much. Okay, bye this bye was bye. great. Thank you. Thank you so bye. much. I'm looking forward and hopefully in person sooner okay, than we, later. We, we shall <laughs> someday. Absolutely. All right. Take care. Bye-bye. Great. Okay. Bye. Thank you, everyone. Everyone, thank you so much for participating and supporting our programs and all these webinars. It's really great. I'm looking forward. Okay. So I'm going to end the meeting on my end. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye, Bye everyone. Bye. You can start logging out. Thank you, Dr. Schwartz. It means so much. Thank you.